one of the things that we're going to be looking at is that much of the research has to do with asking people to write down or to speak spiritual experiences that they've had. And it turns out we can change our brain, activate different parts of the brain that we're going to look at, and kind of install that activation, link neurons together. So um, uh, the first thing is a personal spiritual experience. And so what was happening in my brain just a few minutes ago is that we were, would have been seeing increased activity in the nucleus accumbens as well as the frontal, attentional, and ventromedial, the bottom middle part of the prefrontal cortex. And this is pleasure and reward circuitry. Different kinds of spiritual experiences, of course, are gonna activate different areas of the brain. So concentration meditation, for example, if you're just concentrating on breath or concentrating on mantra or concentrating on a visual like a candle. Um, those kinds of concentration experiences plus verbal prayer, let's say doing the rosary. And that is a midline network. It extends from the orbitomedial prefrontal cortex back to the posterior cingulate cortex and it includes the amygdala and hippocampus and that as i've said before is the source of mind wandering and rumination and that's also called the self-referential network thinking i me mine and that, of course, can really depress you <laughs> after a while. And this is the network that allows us to constantly bring back up our well-practiced narratives that, you know, I'm a victim of that. Um, this always happens to me, whatever it is, we all have our stories. So there's actually quite a lot written about our stories, our narratives, and how they create our identity. Uh, identity, you know, the, the, the Buddhist kind of idea, is that we have no fixed identity at all. They have a word called anatta, no self. Uh, and we're constantly creating identity with the stories that we tell ourselves. This is good news, because if we tell ourselves a new story, then our ego identity, which we do need some ego identity, of course, to move through this world, is going to be much more benign. And of course, the uh, foundational work of Donald Hebb tells us neurons that fire together, wire together. And so inner strengths of any kind, including flow, are grown from experiences of those strengths. In other words, the state has to be activated for the neurons to be firing so that they can wire together. And once you've got activation of a state, you can install temporary states as traits. Uh, and this, this is, uh, of course, very much also the work of self-directed neuroplasticity. Just little bits of meditation during the day can help put you in a better state uh, and give rise to you know, more, a, a more balanced mood.